Bio 2. We're continuing on with Chapter 26 with our second group of animals. And this group of animals is called the Nadarians. So I think we've mentioned this word in class. Know that the C is silent. So Nadarians. So the first question it's going to ask us is what in fact is a Nadarian? So our definition is that they are soft-bodied, carnivorous animals that have stinging tentacles arranged in circles around their mouths and they are the simplest animals to have body symmetry and specialized tissues. So these are going to be again animals soft body carnivorous meaning they eat other animals they're going to have stinging tentacles that's going to be their main defining characteristic of this group is those stinging tentacles because in fact they get their name from the nidocytes or the stinging cells that are located along their tent on that are located along their tentacles. So the whole reason why this group has their name is because the, they are named after the stinging cells that are located around their tentacles, and they use the nidocytes for defense and to capture prey. So they also they can use these stingers to defend themselves and to actually grab a meal as well. And so within each nidocyte is what is known as a nematocyst. So that's another important word you're going to need to know is a nematocyst. And this is a poison-filled seeing structure that contains a tightly coiled dart. So if you can look up there at the top left, you can see that there is a tightly coiled structure with a nematocyst or a single nematocyte waiting inside. And what happens is, is when a shrimp or a small fish brushes up against the tentacles, thousands of nematocysts explode releasing enough poison to paralyze or kill the prey. So if you look up there in that picture you can see that there is a trigger so that actually the fish swim by or the shrimp swim by it hits the trigger causes the nematocyst to explode shooting out the dart and then paralyzing or killing the prey which then can be devoured by the nadarian. So that's pretty cool how they actually are able to attack their prey. They literally shoot out thousands of darts that poison the prey. So now is uh, I'm going to look at kind of how they're made up. So we know now kind of how they got their name. So we're going to look at how they're composed. So there's two different body plans exist in the Nadarian lifestyle. Uh, these are going, and we're going to get into more specific, but both of these are going to be radially symmetrical. So you can draw any number of lines through them, and they'll be equal on both sides. And they have a central mouth surrounded by numerous tentacles that extend outward from the body which again has been mentioned before the tentacles are going to be a big part and they usually have a life cycle that includes two different looking stages a polyp and a medusa so we have the polyp on the left medusa on the right now we'll get into the specifics about each one of those so a polyp is a cylindrical body so shaped like a cylinder with arm like tentacles and then in the polyp the mouth points upward so the mouth would be right here below these tentacles and then polyps are usually sessile remember sessile means that they are attached to a to one spot so that's a polyp and medusa is has a moti is motile so meaning it can move and it has a bell-shaped body with a mouth at the bottom so this looks more like i guess the jellyfish which is going to be an example of this group so that's kind of the jellyfish kind of more has the medusa body shape that we know of and then the Nadarian polyps and medusas each have a body wall that surrounds an internal space called a gastrovascular cavity. So gastrovascular cavity is this big yellow area that's basically going to be where the food comes in. That's going to be the most important part there, food and digestion. And the gastroderm is the inner lining of the gastrovascular cavity where digestion takes place, which I just, which I just mentioned. So they have to have kind of this big open space in order for them to digest their food. And then they have what's known as the epidermis, which is just the outer layer of cells, which we've heard this in plants and now in animals as well. The epidermis is the outer layer. And then the last one is the new word is the mesoglea. And this is a layer that lies between the epidermis and the gastroderm. So this is basically the filler material between the digestion and the outer area. So that's it for this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.